Special overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, has revealed his last moments with the late Reverend Obiora Ezekiel of the Christian Pentecostal Mission, CPM. Adeboye said the last time he visited Ezekiel, whom he described as his friend, was two days before his call to glory. Speaking on Friday at the funeral of the cleric at the Teslim Balogun Stadium, Lagos, Adeboye said the last time he saw Dr. Ezekiel, it was obvious he was ready to go. He said it was obvious that the Lord had prepared his mansion and wanted his servant to come home and rest. I met him a little more than 40 years ago. I had just become the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God. And I was living in a room in Moshi. And he sought me out. I've never met him before, but he came to Mushi, located my one room apartment, and paid me a visit. I don't need to tell you what then was my reaction. But we became very, very close. I knew Brother Ezekiel. I knew the man who became known as the bulldozer. Some of you might not know the meaning of that name, but it was a terror to demons. He bulldozed them. I knew a man who, like the great masquerade, <laughs> by the way, I've got a masquerade. I described to you as an extremely generous man. As generous almost to a fault. I think throughout his lifetime, maybe I preached three times in his church. But I can't remember how many times I had visited him one on one at home. On my last visit, I arrived very early in the morning as usual because if you live at Redemption Camp and you really want to save your time, you must leave before others wake up. Arrived in his place by 6.30 a.m. and we were together for some time. But that day I knew he was going. How did I know? Went into his bedroom as usual. We held hands. My friend, good morning. Very good morning, sir. How are you today? No answer. Um, is there anything special you want me to pray about today? No answer. Uh, are you upset with me that it's been a couple of months since I visited you last? No answer. For the rest of the period I spent with him, <laughs> and the wife is my witness, my friend didn't say a word. His face was fixed. Suddenly I realized this is somebody who has seen the unseen. Someone who is hearing the inaudible. 
He held my hand. As if to say, can you see what I'm seeing? Are you hearing what I'm hearing? After some time, I had to pray. And reluctantly, he let go of my hands. A few days later, I heard he was gone. Also speaking at the funeral service, Reverend Uma Ukwai described the late Dr. Ezekiel as a true servant of God. We traveled all over the world together. He and the young man over there, Bishop Wachuku, is the young man. Full of us. <laughs> Men and brethren, we went from Hong Kong to America, from America to China, and became great partners in the gospel. Ezekiel was a humble, teachable man. His success did not in a way make him proud or arrogant. There are few men who can become who can remain humble despite their success. He was just a humble. The funny thing was he, he, he compelled me without saying anything to fight for him. When we travel across the world and people molest him, I will volunteer to fight for him. And this man will allow me to fight for him. One more time, let's give God a good clap of faith. Top ministers such as Pastor Enoch Adebuye and his wife, Bishop David Oyedekpo, Bishop Mike Okonkwo, Reverend Felix Omobude, among others, were present at the burial. Idoma Television reports that Dr. Ezekiel, who died at the age of 78 in 2021, was buried at his church compound in Mafoluku, Oshodi, Lagos. From Lagos, I am Ochaya Owoicho reporting for Doma Television.